AK-24-7 was founded by Patrick Garrett in partnership with Eurogamer, but has had more autonomy in its operations. The staff roster reveals something highly unusual for the UK industry. In the team of six staff, it has three people of colour. This is more than all of Game Radar, all of the rest of Gaming Network, all of M-Life, and all of Rosero Network put together. So what on earth is going on here? Why are almost every other media outlet are there no people of colour in that VT-24-7 they are free? Is it because hopeful reporters who are black and Asian just didn't fancy working at Future because they thought it was beneath them? Is it because the Asian hopeful reporters who were trying to break into the industry thought Eurogamer didn't align with their social values so decided not to bother applying to Wesley, Ollie and Richard Ledbetter? Or is it because VG247 received applications and decided to interview, give jobs based on merit regardless of racial background? I've no inside information on this but I suspect the latter. And in an old boys and girls network, it's a lesson that every other media outlet in the UK needs to learn from. Let's be clear, it's not to say that there have never been people coming in the industry. Chen Benaya was editor-in-chief of Nintendo magazines between 2012 and 2014. And future CBG had Tomo Hussain between 2010 and 2015. He's now an editor in the US for GameSpot. When Future first began to make redundancies, he was the first to be let go. And his colleagues gave him a mock big issue cover that referenced that there would now be less diversity in the company. The future PLC run official PlayStation magazine in its 25 year history has had an abysmal record of diversity for people of colour. The one exception being PlayStation UK's YouTube channel. Ellie Ossie who joined in March 2019 left in February 2020. She stayed with the team 11 months. Melindy Hetfeld is a prominent freelancer in the industry today. She regularly contributes to Eurogamer and other publications.